Hey, my name is Yui Chiyo. It's nice to meet you. I am 21 years old, and I major art and design at California State University. I haven't decided on what I should do after I graduate. I'm unsure if this is what I really want. But, like any of that matters, as I am somewhere in another world, I'd tell you more about what I must do to get back. But I have to continue my journey now, so I'll see you until then. Hello everyone, I'm Joel, and I am the game director and uh, a lot of things that do a part of this game. Now today we'll be going over the recent builds, plus the recent changes that you're going to see later on in another build. Especially some stuff to look forward to in the future for this project, because the future is bright. So, um, I think one thing we can talk about right away is the recent name change of this game. Again. Um, funny story. Um, as someone who is not familiar with the legal aspects, I am learning. Yeah, apparently there's a band Dynamico franchise called, you know, Tales of. Yeah, I kind of just decided to just switch to the Fables of Yui. It still has that feel of the last title. Plus, it just kind of, you know, it's harder. So... I chose with that. That away, out of the side, we have our new build. Plus, with our new build, we have a new Yui redesign. Now, Yui Chio is completely different this time, and this, and her main color is definitely red. I think having Yui as red, because we were actually given four colors, as you can see here, and red just kind of popped out, and not because it was the first one shown, but red, it, red just looks better, in my opinion. But, for the other colors, we are definitely going to use it for the new form mechanic that we are introducing today. I do want to say very quick that on Discord, we are definitely having people test these builds out. So that way you can help us bug fix, well, help me bug fix. And we just go on and having the game as fleshed out as possible while keeping things clean and functional. Now, we're going to be locking things down for going forward with these builds. As we definitely do want to like share some stuff regarding the levels and stuff but we're definitely not gonna make it playable until it's just completely ready and you know it will just save us time sharing things just disregard those and just have this little simple area where you can test out the mechanics that we introduce um we want to start with one small thing and if i were to hit things little damage icons come up pretty cool and i turned yellow and i will get to why that happened but for now uh we'll wait for that to turn red okay there we go <coughs> Well, that's new. You got, uh, definitely new looking, uh, damage things. Pretty cool. Looks thing, look, makes things look a little more interactive, interactable. More things going on. Just so you know how much damage you're doing. Well, that's it for like the miscellaneous things. Cause we kind of focused a little more time on the core mechanics itself. And the good news is it's solidified. Whereas in that, as in for the first time, we finished something in our project, which is the foundation of how the player works. Bugs, so I gotta flush that out, but I will definitely go over it. So, the form mechanic is a new mechanic, is based on Yui's Luminary Amulet. And that's the little thing that you see uh, 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 right here. This here is the Luminary, Luminary Amulet. The form mechanic is based on Yui's Luminary Amulet that temporarily enhances her physical, magical, and special abilities. This gives us a whole new range of methods to implement elements and utility features for the respective form, making them feel unique in their own fashion, finding your play style. There's a lot of work to do as, as far as making this happen, but the forms work as intended, and it's only a matter of following our roadmap going forward. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the base form. So the base form is fairly simple. It's just what she has to work with already. So, as you may notice, you can attack and move at the same time. Now, I don't know if you're going to have this many, this much control, but well, only time will tell. But, as you can see, she has three hit combo as normal. Fairly nice. Aerial, you can't really do aerial attacks. That's just how it is. You can't smack. It'll do a little more in the future, but right now, it's just a simple smack in the air. What you can also do is if you hit dodge, you dodge, you dodge finally. <laughs> I feel like that's nothing to be excited about. You can also throw your scythe. It's just, it's just normal as usual. The scythe throw is still that, fairly simple. Now, of course, she moves 
a lot slower this time. If, you, if I can go ahead and hit F10, you'll notice that the velocity is no longer 800, but it's actually 500. The good news is, it's not that much of a big deal because it's already taken care of the other forms, which we will get to, and to Blitz now. Blitz! Basically, making her faster and able to do, for, able to perform combo strains with higher damage output and faster attack speed. She can also receive more damage. This makes it a very high risk and reward form. So, definitely, you can do stuff like this now. I think this would be very exciting once we actually have more things added into this. But for now, this is what we have and it'll just be simply faster and do more damage. Now what's next is mobility form. Now, because this game is not just based on combat, it's also based on platforming. And I think having mobility form just makes sense. So, um, notice with Blitz, you move about 650 units a second, or 650 units. Velocity, your velocity is 650. Uh, I don't know how that works. Um, but if we switch to mobility, you're suddenly 850, and you are just a lot faster. You are way, way faster. And you jump higher, and you even dash. Dashing is working. And most importantly, that's not all. Because remember that, remember the phase ability that I've introduced? I mean, I don't know if I introduced it in the video, but the phase ability is fairly unique. And what we decided to do, instead of just having it just phase through things and just call it a day, we wanted to do a lot more with it. So for, so the first new thing you can do, if you were to throw your scythe in this direction and then hit dodge, well, that's awkward. Uh, yep, I told you it's buggy. Um, if we go, if we go here and then throw a scythe and hit dodge, suddenly we teleport to our scythe, and our momentum is carried. Fairly cool. This gives us a lot of ideas to what to do with this. So, for example, I can throw this, dodge, and then dash upwards, and then suddenly I just made a new move. Because also I forgot, this has double jump. So you could double jump dash, or you can simply double jump, throw your scythe, and then jump again, and you end up just traveling a lot of distance. The one thing I definitely do want to aim for in this project is definitely the creative freedom on movement and just play style. Having more gives the player more ideas on how to play the game. Now, too many ideas, you know, Depending on the case, it may be good or bad for the game. And because so many ideas just bounce around, I have a person who definitely keeps that managed and reasonable. And our creative director, Abdullah, is definitely the carry of having things organized and, you know, logically, you know, making sense. So as far as abilities and everything else that's added to the game, he is the person who is looking over the creative decisions of the project, and I definitely appreciate his charity, and I cannot thank him enough for that. I'll, words can never say enough how much I'm thankful. So folks, that should be it for today's video. I know it's very short, but this is what I have to show, and this is just going to be more to show in the future. Now, if you do want to see the sneak peeks for the other levels, go ahead and visit our website in our recent blog that we just basically, you know, go over the rest, plus the, some extra added things. And you can download it there as well, as well as, you know, contact directly to the email and just report bugs that way. Or you can join a Discord and do it from there. That being said, if you'd like to volunteer for the game, go ahead and just go to the volunteer page and you'll understand how to make an email and send it us. Send us a form of your portfolio and stuff and volunteer. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys supporting this project as we are definitely heading through a brighter path and we just cannot wait to just share more things. So, that being said, take care.